Continuing this mini-series in Final Fantasy X lore, we are exploring a location that is much like Besaid. It is a relatively small place in Spira and serves a rather minuscule role in the overall plot of the story, but it is still rather interesting to cover as it is a location in Spira and we never hate exploring the various places and what they have offered in the overall timeline. So, please sit back and enjoy as we go over the lore of Kilika. Kilika is a rather small island located on the southern point of Spira, just north of Besaid. Similar to Besaid, Kilika is one of the few locations in Spira that is not located on the major continent in Spira. However, unlike Besaid, where its main village is located inside of the island, Kilika's main village is on the beach side of the island, making it a port village of sorts. But its main temple is located further into the island. But considering that getting to the temple requires climbing a set of steps, considering its location on a high peak, it would have been difficult to construct a village or town near the vicinity of the temple. Kilika is also home to the faith of Ifrit, one of the aeons required to be obtained for a summoner to complete its pilgrimage and defeat Sin. Similar to Besaid, there are signs of ruins on the road between the village and the temple, indicating that Kilika was once a larger city that consisted of Machina infrastructure. Unfortunately, unlike Besaid, it was not stated what the purpose of Kilika was during the Machina Age of Spira. Also similar to Besaid is its diversity of flora and fauna, with a dense forest covering the road between the village and the temple, and a few riverbanks crossing through the forest. Interestingly enough, Kilika hosts a more diverse set of wildlife and fiends, considering its bigger land mass. This larger array of monsters would also attract more security, so similar to Besaid, there are also crusaders stationed in Kilika, as we see them on the forest path attempting to contain an Oshu found in the area. While it is not known what the role of Kilika was around the time of the Machina War, we know that Kilika was the hometown of Lord O'Holland, who was a renowned blitzball player in his time. Lord O'Holland was a high summoner who was also known for defeating Sin and delivering the calm to Spira. His combined success of being a skilled blitzball player and a high summoner led to the belief that praying to the Temple of Kilika would give good luck to the players or the team that went to pray before a major tournament. It is also noted that the steps leading from the forest to the Kilika Temple were known for having been used by Lord O'Holland for training during his lifetime, making it a popular spot for blitzball players to train. During the story, the party stops at Kilika after leaving Besaid for a few reasons. The first reason is to obtain the Aeon Ifrit, but also to pray at the temple for luck at an upcoming Blitzball tournament in Luka. On the way there, they are attacked by Sin, and after repelling its Sin scale, Sin approaches Kilika Port and destroys most of the village, causing Yuna to perform the Sending, a ritual required for the souls of the dead to depart to the Far Plane and prevent them from becoming fiends. This is the first instance of the ritual that we see in the game. Along the way, the party encounters the Oshu, which is optional but easier to defeat once Ifrit is obtained as well as Sinspawn Geno, which is a Sinspawn left behind by Sin likely in the aftermath of its attack on Kilika Port. At the same time, they pray for luck for the upcoming Blitzball tournament, but come across the Luka Goers, who are also praying for the same reason, and their confrontation sets the seed for their future finals match later in the story. After the party finish their business in Kilika Island, they leave, departing for Luka. And that ends the rather short lore video for Kilika Island. While it did not have a big impact in the overall plot of the story, it did contain its details that were still noteworthy. Let me know what you all think. Did you like how Kilika was designed, that being similar to a village like Besaid, but stationed on the water side? Would Kilika be a location you would visit? Let me know in the comment section below. Also subscribe to the channel if you wish to see more Final Fantasy content, and leave it a like as it would help out with spreading the video to more Final Fantasy fans. And keep an eye on my community tab for updates for when I stream and make videos. Other than that, this is Enzo signing out, and that, as they say, is that.